Hi, this is Tammy, and I'm here today to show you how to make this Get Well Soon card. Um, it uses the Modern Medley download on these flag punches and the Hello Lovely download on the um, on the label. So let me switch first. I'm sorry, let me explain. First you want to set it up as a greeting card so you have all four sides and go ahead and fill the background uh, by coming over here to the resource palette and select background papers and you simply drag in this basic black uh, onto all four sides. Okay, so I'm just going to go to this page two because so I can show you how I did the front. And the first thing I did was go to my punches and hit browse and I selected extras. Open that up and go down to the flag punch, drag that in. And we're going to make three flag punches. So what I'm going to do is kind of narrow it down a little bit and lengthen it. You almost want it the whole length of the card. And let's see, I think that's about right. Then I am going to uh, color fill that first with white and select a drop shadow. I know you can't see it very well with black background, but I still put it in. Okay, so once you have that, then uh, hit Control C and Control V twice to pay, copy and paste it twice. And then we're going to move them over. And let's see, this one we're going to make just a little bit smaller. And this one over here we're going to make even more small. Um, and I'm just going to leave them like this until we fill them with the paper. Okay, then go to your stamps and select browse and under the designer part of your um, stamps look under the designer kits go all the way down to modern medley and select that okay so this first flag we are going to have the flowers so drag the flowers over and then you want to hit crop now instead of just cropping in a square, we are going to select Crop Shape down here. And we're in Extras. So we're going to go down to get that same flag punch and hit Apply. Now when it fills it in initially, you can see that it's covering the whole 12 by 12 page. So what I want to do is grab the corner here and make it a lot smaller because otherwise we're doing a little tiny card. I don't want um, to have to reduce this uh, crop so that you can barely see the flowers. So I'm trying to make it so that the flowers are fairly big. Now if you recall, when we put the punch on our card, first we lengthened it like this. We want to make it nice and tall and then we kind of made it smaller so try to mimic what you did and just hit OK and then we're going to test it and see how it comes out and we can adjust it quite easily all right so it's way over here I'm going to drag it over and it looks to me like I actually did it pretty well um, so I'm going to See where I am and you can see that it extends a little farther and I think I got the height just about right so I'm gonna hit crop again bring it in just a teeny bit and now it looks like I'm just right on so I'm gonna just use my um, arrow keys to put it on top and then I'm gonna go to my um, layers and I'm gonna bring the uh, white punch up first, hit my shift key, click, then I'm going to bring it down below the stamp that I already have. And you can see that I've already selected that because I can see the gray squares already. Then I'm going to hit arrange group. Now if you do that successfully, you can see over here that you've got a punch with both the white punch 
underneath and the modern medley on top. Okay, so now we're going to do a similar thing for the other two flags. So we're going to go back to stamps and this time we're going to select the uh, dark quadra, I don't know what the heck this thing is, quad something, and hit the crop and again we're going to hit crop shape and we're going to go back down to that flag, hit apply, grab the corner and make it a lot smaller, bring it towards the center, kind of make it narrower and taller, hit OK. And we'll bring it over to the second punch and see how we did. So you can see that this time um, I may have got the height right, but I certainly did not get the width. So I'm going to hit crop again and just kind of ease into this. I'm also going to see if maybe I can center it maybe a little bit. So we'll see. Yeah, I would say that's about it. Use my arrow keys. Luckily, because we have a black background, it's sort of forgiving. So you don't have to worry too much about getting this right on. Okay, now I'm going to, in my layers palette, I'm going to bring the white piece back up, hit my shift key, select it, bring it down below the quadrifoil layer, um, hit, oh, we already have shift, so I'm going to hit arrange and group again. Okay, so now we've got two of them done. Let's go and do the last one. So I'm going to stamps again, and this time I'm going to bring over the music notes. Go to crop, crop shape, Select the flag, punch again, apply, grab the corner, make it smaller, bring it towards the center, make it taller, uh, and then bring it, make it more narrow, hit OK. And let's see how we did this time. I'm a little over again. So I am going to go back into crop and narrow it down a tiny bit. And I would say that that is pretty good. So let's see. Yep, I think I'm satisfied there. Okay, and then we have to just arrange it again. So bring the white piece up, hit shift click, bring it back down, and arrange group. Okay, so now that you've got that done, it's really easy to layer these like I did on the front of the card. Okay, now the next thing is to go into the punches again. And this time we're going to hit Browse and select Labels. Open that up and we're going to go, I think I'm down a little bit here, to Decorative Label Punch. Bring that over and make it a little larger because we want it actually to start on this darker piece. Um, and actually as I'm looking at this, I think that's over too far. Yeah, that looks about a little better here. Okay, now we're going to color fill that with white. Hit OK. We're going to add a drop shadow and we're going to add a black mat of one. Hit OK. All right, next thing we're going to do, go back to our stamps and we're going to go to Hello Lovely, which I believe is just a regular stamp. So it's on the top. There we go. And I went to this pretty little uh, label. And we just need to increase the size a little bit. And you have to use your arrow keys here. So just get it to where you're about happy that it fills up the label. And that's it. Then go back to your punches and hit Browse. Select Basics 
and 